I must admit, Finn, I did not expect such a confident victory. You have impressed me. Thank you, Your Majesty. But the time has come to discuss more important matters. I must make a decision. Cleta, Raylo, you helped train Finn, and I want to know what you think. Can he handle this mission? The boy can do it, Your Majesty. I bet a keg of the best Jurana nailed it'll show those northern bastards, and I can't wait to see it. Raylo? I'm not sure he can do it, Your Majesty. He made a decent showing at the tournament, but it will be much harder in Frisia. But I'd like to go with him and help him out if I can. I will take your view into account. However, I also promise to consider the results of the tournament. And your performance in the tournament was impressive, Finn. I must admit, the final fight removed any doubts I had. I think that Ake's plan seems realistic with you. At least, it doesn't seem so crazy now. You have my full support. I will pay all the expenses. This extra gold is for you, Finn. I hope it will be enough for you to succeed. Thank you, Your Majesty. Use the remaining time to prepare properly. I wish you luck and I will await your return. Hear me, Ake. I forbid you to die. As you wish, Your Majesty. You did great at the tournament, my boy. And you persuaded the king. We can continue preparing for the tournaments now. But I promised that I won't make you do what you're not prepared for. Do you have any doubts? I'm still not sure that it is a good idea. I'm afraid, uncle. Me too, my boy. But it is even more terrifying to do nothing and wait for the inevitable. The past war took a lot away from both of us. Remember what the Frisians did to your parents. I remember, and hate them with all my heart. Then this is your chance to have your revenge on them. You might also save your country. War will come, and even more children will be orphaned, just like you, Finn. That's why we should do what is right, even if we are afraid. <sighs> all right, Uncle. You're right. We must do all we can. I am ready to go to Frisia. Thank you, my boy. Then let's start your training. You still have a lot to learn. We have just two months to teach you everything. You must become a Frisian Finn. You must know everything they know. You must look like them. You must move like them. And learn to play better than they ever could. You can do it, my boy. I believe in you. Well then, are we going or not? Be patient. We should change to some more appropriate garb before we leave for Frisia. Get dressed. That's it. Now I'm ready to talk to those northern bastards. In your case, Cleta, it's best to keep quiet. Leave the talking to those who have an idea about manners. Keep your advice to yourself, pup, before I shove your manners where the sun don't shine. Oh, you're a real knockout. I hope I won't have to listen to your quarrels all the time. Concentrate on the mission, or just shut up. Where's Finn? I'm here, Uncle. My boy, you look like a true Frisian. I don't think I should be proud of that. Remember, you are now the young aristocrat, Count René Calio, a member of an influential family known for its vast family tree. <laughs> Looks like there's an aristocrat too many in our party. And what about all of you? You don't look too much like Frisians. And what if they know who you are, Uncle? What sort of master of intelligence would I be if everyone knew who I am? Don't worry, we won't pretend to be Frisians. Warber Cannons, your teachers and advisors. You hired us to study and improve your tactics. <laughs> I'm not sure that we three will be enough. We should really take along another dozen or two. And where will we go, Uncle? 
where will the first tournament be? We're going to Riga first. It's a city in Gallia, the closest one. I also spent a couple of years there and know the place really well. That's right. We have a small advantage. Let's go. Our journey begins. much blood. How can they enjoy this? I hope you're not going to faint. Cruel spectacles have always excited the crowd, man. People get crazed by the sight of blood. Did you see the girl on the grandstand? Yes. Who is she? Her name is Queena Rosetta. She commands the army of Riga. She is your main opponent at this tournament, Finn. We must get rid of her. A woman? Will I have to fight a woman? Make no mistake, my boy. Queena only pretends to be a woman. Pretends? I think she looks rather nice. For a Frisian. She's a gal, idiot. At least by half. Before your loins start thinking for you, remember, she has sharp teeth between her legs. I see you managed to get together with her, Cleta. Shut your mouth, pup. I'm not joking. The wench is a beast to be feared. She became a commander a few years ago. There are already enough stories. I heard she likes to personally torture prisoners. She cuts off their ears and fingers and skins them alive, purely for her own pleasure. Disgusting. Queena is cruel, merciless, and bloodthirsty. That's why they call her the She-Wolf. Give her a finger and your hand is gone. Got it? Yes, I'll be careful. Since we're talking of being careful, we should find a tavern far from prying eyes. Cleta? Yeah, I know one. Let's go. What a hole. Wasn't there anything better? Forgive my blunder, your highness. All the castles were taken, so you shall have to warm your tender buttocks here. Enough, Raylo. The tavern's good enough. What's next? We need to decide how to get to Quina and kill her without attracting attention to ourselves. Then we need to either find her alone or send some killers. But Queena is well guarded at the arena. The creature doesn't go anywhere else. That means we need to lure her out, Cleta. Got any ideas? <laughs> oh, perhaps our freshly baked Count will invite her out on a date. If he doesn't get disgraced at the tournament. It's not funny, Raylo. We're talking about life and death. Well, it could work with a common wench, but that one would only go for a real devil. Yeah, I would prefer someone more normal. I don't want to end up with no ears, fingers, or skin. What's wrong, Finn? Scared of a girl? Let's get back to it later and do what the situation demands. Prepare your deck, Finn. We will start the tournament and see what we can do. It's probably worth getting a lesson or two from Raylo to know more about the Frisian deck. Do not hurry. We'll set off once you're ready. What do you need? The Frisians prefer defense to attack. Why attack if the Inquisitor drains the enemy commander's life away anyway? Plus, many warriors reinforce his abilities, like this Centurion. Boost his health to ensure he survives for longer.
Phrygian deck has powerful warriors, ready to destroy any enemy that dares to get close to the commander. The Frisians also reinforce each other. For instance, a captain on the field adds armor to the added other fighters. Now try to defeat the enemy commander using all I told you, and I will watch how you deal with the new deck.
Well, let's say you managed. Take this deck. You need it to battle the last adjutant. You can use it as the main deck if you believe in yourself, but you'll need a lot more training. Thanks, Raylo. I will think about it. Do you need anything, my boy? How are you feeling, my boy? Not too confident. I called myself a count, but I live in some tavern. Isn't that suspicious? That would be strange in Burkana, but here, Frisians are obsessed with titles and hand them out to everyone. They won't even look at you unless you have one. Believe me, this tourney has lots of counts apart from you. Not all of them can afford a house befitting their status. What about my family tree? What if they start asking questions? You don't have to answer them. Be cold and arrogant. Or improvise. The main thing is to never show weakness and remain alert. I already lost a friend in this city, and I don't want to lose a son as well. A friend? What are you talking about, Uncle? His name was Michelle. We searched for Prince Ho during the reaping together. He always smiled. He never lost heart. What happened to him? After the war, he became the Burkhanan ambassador here in Riga. He believed he could change something. Build bridges. He was hanged without a trial. Accused of poisoning the commander of Riga. But I don't need a trial to know he never did it. So be careful, my boy. We can have no allies or friends here. As soon as you let your guard down, you'll get a knife in your back. All right, uncle. I'll be careful. What are you doing here? I am a wandering merchant count. I will accompany you and look for rare cards. Make sure you visit me often. I'll keep that in mind.
What's up, lad? You're a bit pale, Finn. Are you worried? Very. I hope I won't look too different to the local Frisians. These aren't quite Frisians, lad. We're in Gelia. The Frisians conquered it an age ago and built this city. But there are few of them here. It's mostly Gels or children of mixed marriages living here. I thought Gels were more wild. These people don't look barbaric. That's right. The local Gels took on many Frisian customs and forgot some of theirs, so they don't look like true Highlanders. That's why Riga is a special city. What is normal in Frisia isn't honored here. Neither are Highlander habits. An unusual place. This gives me hope that I can fit in. Thank you, Kalita. What do you need? I hope you paid attention to what you were told and learned something at least. Our lives depend on it. You don't believe in success much, right? The Ursus tourney was training. Here, it's all for real. You don't have enough knowledge or experience. I hope you pass the qualifiers at least. Your support is so reassuring. Thanks. I'm always here for you.